Hi, I'm Marty Kelsey from the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. Today I'm in Dayton, Ohio at the National Museum of the United States Air Force, and we're standing in front of the B-2 Spirit. I'm joined by Jeff DeFord. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Great to be here with you. Tell us about the stealth technology on the B-2. So the B-2 has a capability that no other aircraft in the world has. The B-2 is really a second generation stealth aircraft, and the, the big characteristic here is that we see curved shapes. Early on in uh, the development of stealth technology, some thought it was only possible to have faceted shapes like in the F-117. Well, uh, the B-2 obviously uh, kind of blows that away. We're at the back of the B-2 and I don't see any engines. Yeah, well, uh, engines for stealth aircraft are a big problem because the fan blades on jet engines reflect radar waves, which are detectable, and also they give off a lot of heat which is also detectable by infrared. So in the case of the B-2, its engines are buried in the wings. It has four engines, two in each wing, and the inlets for the engines are very carefully shaped. The engine exhaust is actually on top of the wing and it's forward of the trailing edge of the wing. By putting it there, it makes it much more difficult to detect the heat coming off those engines when viewed from below. Wow. The other thing that I don't see behind us is a tail. How does this plane fly without a tail? That's a great question. Tails are a real problem with stealth aircraft because they can reflect radar. So the best way to deal with the problem with the vertical tail is just don't have one. So in the case of the B-2, it is a flying wing. And what's kind of interesting is that the, the same company, Northrop, actually built some flying wings. And the B-2 actually borrowed some of the control systems used in those flying wings at the end of World War II to fly itself. And uh, what makes it all work is the fly-by-wire system because it's a fairly unstable platform, but having computers that constantly check on the attitude of the aircraft and keep it stable make it a really great platform. Well, thanks for showing us around. Oh, my pleasure. Have you ever seen a stealth aircraft in action, maybe at a sporting event or at an air show? If you have, let us know in the comments section. And if you like this video, be sure to follow STEM in 30 on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum's YouTube channel.